Now, Kenya's National Treasury Cabinet Secretary, Ukuri Yatani, said to table the budget this Thursday. And what should we expect in this year's uh, budget reading? Alex Nyaga, the Associate Director of Public Sector and Project Management at PwC, joins us live. For more, Alex, thank you for making the time and thank you for joining us uh, for a market that is largely known uh, for supplementary budgets. Uh, we don't believe it's going to be the first of many for uh, the, uh, the Treasury Cabinet Secretary. Uh, but uh, what are the first expectations uh, from uh, the first readings uh, that he is going to table? Oh, thank you very much, and I'm glad to be here. Uh, definitely, uh, it's an interesting budget to, to expect because of uh, basically the economic uh, environment that we're faced in. So we'd expect a lot of balancing acts uh, to be, you know, Put in by the by the CS because you know the challenging times that uh, we've been experiencing recently. I mean, over the last one week, you've seen um, uh, what has happened with the petrol prices, and then we need to try and contain some of these uh, inflationary tendencies that we are finding ourselves into. So I think at a overall level, I think he'd be under a lot of pressure to keep uh, inflation rates uh, stable and to keep the economy uh, in a stable place. Uh, great that you bring up that uh, last point, Alex. Uh, what do we, what should we expect in terms of uh, the fiscal policy in trying, you know, to reduce the pressure on households? I think it's. I mean, I don't envy him. Uh, he has a a huge job to do because even when this uh, policy statement was drafted, which was in November, I mean, the final version that we are looking at today. If you look at the inflation at that point, it was at 5%. Uh, now it's probably at 6.5%. And I think in some sectors where you, know, you look at individual commodity goods, the inflation on those items could be more than 10%. So you know, the exchange rate at the time when um, the budget was prepared was at 111 uh, shillings to the dollar. Now it's at 115 shillings to the dollar. So there's four shillings uh, sliding on the shilling uh, against the dollar, which again puts a lot of pressure I mean, we are net import country, so all our imports are four shillings uh, more expensive per, per unit of dollar that uh, we import. Uh, and you've seen how that is now starting to affect household uh, commodities, uh, you know, examples of cooking oil and, and the cries that have been there. You look at something like fuel, uh, you know, currently, maybe if you just exclude this week, you know, two weeks ago, probably a few of those at 105 shillings. When the budget was prepared, it was probably at 120 shillings. So there has been huge shifts uh, within the macro space that uh, this budget was prepared. And it would be really interesting to see how, how, how the CS will be able to balance that. I mean, even before, even when this was prepared also, you remember we didn't have the situation we have uh, in Ukraine, for example. And you know, what that has meant also for the global and geopolitical dynamics uh, and how that has affected economies like ours, where we rely on some of the imports that come from those countries. So there is, there's going to be a challenge for the, for the CS, and we really hope that we'll be able to balance it uh, to keep the, the households uh, uh, safeguarded. Uh, it, it's tough times globally, uh, tough times, especially in the East African community region, and one of those. Uh, reasons for the tough times uh, is fuel. The cost of fuel has skyrocketed and there's, you know, the fuel subsidies. Now, um, I believe he didn't plan for this and this budget is coming two months uh, before, you know, other budget readings that have happened previously. Uh, so how does he balance this out uh, in terms of, you know, making sure that uh, the subsidies uh, are received or are maintained by the government while at the same time proposing new taxes like digital taxes because uh, it, it feels like it's between a rock and a hard place uh, for the cabinet treasury secretary there yes and I, and I think he will just have to cut down on expenses where he can he will have to reprioritize i don't think we have a lot of space to to borrow more therefore he'll be looking at uh, other alternatives and, and it's good that you've Talk about the subsidy program. I think even the government is recognizing that they may not be able to maintain that subsidy going forward. Uh, and the subsidy, as, as we all know, came about from you know a decision they made about two years ago when the global prices were going down that they decided to keep aside some of that money to be able to cushion uh, to create an, a contingency fund. So you know I, I don't think I don't know how much is left within that uh, subsidy 
uh, fund, but uh, definitely they will have to reprioritize against all these other expenses that they had planned for. Uh, they had, I think the budget is about 3.3 trillion uh, based on the initial estimates, and they will have to see which sectors can they, can they deny funds and which sectors will need to be funded more. But clearly, I think being up an election year, I think the government will really be interested to, to try and maintain uh, commodity prices uh, as low as possible uh, against the inflation. Yeah, and just before we let you go, Alex, uh, the issue of IEBC uh, getting additional funds, the, how much is going to be allocated to it and why is it important for Kenya? Uh, well, I think being an election year, we have to also uh, safeguard up the democratic space. We know we can't operate in, a, in an environment where governance is a problem. So having a stable governance uh, uh, environment helps all of us to be able to continue doing business and to maintain the attractiveness of uh, Kenya as a, an investment destination. So additional funding to IBC to make sure that uh, it's um, you know, able to prepare for the elections and, and make sure that... Uh, you know, things run as smoothly as possible, I think is in the interest of the country. Uh, I don't have the exact figures. Uh, and as we say, these estimates came out uh, a number of uh, months ago. And, you know, the final estimates will definitely be coming out uh, in a short while.